ready for an explosive day in Stanford, California. It's the 110th big game. Cal comes in looking to snap its two-game losing streak. Let's get right into it. Cal quarterback Nate Longshore in the first quarter. Popped from behind by Clinton Snyder. Fumbles. That would lead to a Stanford touchdown. And the Stanford fans in the crowd are loving it. 7-0 Cardinal. Now here's Cal coming back the other way. Hand off to Justin Forsett. He would break a 14-yard run. He had 19 carries for 96 yards on the day. That would set up a Cal touchdown. Jordan K's extra point is up and good. We got ourselves a ball game, 7-7. Now, second quarter, Tavita Pritchard to Ben Ladner. That's breaking out a 13-yard run, setting up this Stanford field goal, 10-7. That was Derek Belch, a 36-yard field goal. Now, Cal coming back the other way. Longshore under center, hands off to Justin Forsett, breaking this 19-yard run every day. He's hustling down to the Stanford 30, setting up a 27-yard field goal for Jordan K. It's up and good. We got ourselves a ball game here, 10-10. Now, continuing our field goal, O'Rama, Derek Belch, another one, 13-10 going into halftime. Now, coming back the other way. Lavelle Hawkins makes this grab. It's 28 yards all the way down to the Stanford 27, setting up a blown field goal. So it'll be 13-10 going into halftime. Now, in the third quarter, Tyrone McGraw breaks a 16-yard run all the way down to the Cal 1. That would set up a Stanford touchdown. And it's 20-10 now in favor of the Cardinals. Here's Ostrander, the quarterback for Stanford, completing another pass to Ben Ladner. That one was 13 yards, setting up a blown 25-yard field goal by Derek Belch. Cal has some new life breathed into it. Coming the other way in the fourth quarter, Longshore hit as he threw, and it's Nick Sanchez coming away with the interception. Cal would get another chance coming back the other way. Here's Nate Longshore, and a reverse to Lavelle Hawkins. He would break a 26-yard run, setting up a Jordan K field goal. It's 20-13 to 13 Cardinal right now, and all they've got to do is run out the clock. Here's the Cardinal coming late in the fourth quarter. A run up the middle is fumbled, forced by Zach Follett, recovered by the Golden Bears, and Follett is pumped up. Could the Cal Bears come back and win it? The team's... Rally committees are ready to exchange the Stanford Axe if need be, and here comes Cal the other way. This is a 10-yard completion to Robert Jordan getting inside the Cardinal red zone. Could they tie the game here? Longshore, a deep pass down the right side for Lavelle Hawkins, but it's dropped! Unfortunate. They would get another chance, though. Here's Longshore in the shotgun formation, looking left side, but who comes up with it but the Cardinal quarterback, Nick Sanchez. That's game over, folks. Cal loses the Golden Axe. I'm sorry, the Stanford Axe for the first time in six seasons. Coach, what happened? But, uh, too many three and outs in the second half, and mainly because of uh, we couldn't protect the basketball. But, you know, they came out, they came out firing, and I was the best Stanford team I've ever played against. They came out hard, hitting hard, and, uh, uh, you know, we just couldn't answer it, I guess. It's a long season, so don't get down on one game. I think sometimes we got down on a game and thought, oh, you know, our national championship hopes are over and those little hopes are over. And God's taking it like the big picture. We're just kind of, you know, wasn't going game to game. You got to win every game to go to where you want to go. And uh, we got to do that next year. Those young guys. I mean, there's nothing more than that. It's not like they're better than the team. They're not a better team. There's no way you can have you guys with that. Everybody else is. But you're going to tell them today.